द लॉर्ड हिमसेल्फ अप होल्ड द यूनिवर्स एंड शोज हिज ओनली पोटेंस ही हैज नो ह्यू फॉर्म माउथ एंड बियर्ड ओ लॉर्ड हॉक इन दाई स्लेव नानक अटर विद हिज वन टंग द प्रेजेस ऑफ द डिवोटी हु इज अप्रूव्ड एट दाई डोर एंड इज लाइक दी दाउ आर्ट द ग्रेटेस्ट ऑफ ग्रेट एंड टू हिम आई एम ए सेक्रीफाइस अ सेक्रीफाइस एंड एवर ए सेक्रीफाइस ओ लॉर्ड दाउ आर्ट द ट्रेयर ऑफ ऑल द मैरिट्स no one can know the worth of thine divine wisdom and meditation the highest of the high is known to be thy seat my mind wealth and life belongs to thee thou hast strung the world in the one thread of thy system what praise should i attribute to thee o incomprehensible and infinite luminous lord who can know thy secret inconceivable is thy power and thou art the mainstay of all O Lord, how can thy slave Nanak utter with his own one tongue the praises of the devotee who is approved at thy door and is like thee? And to him I am a sacrifice, a sacrifice, ever a sacrifice. Lord, thou art formless being, undeceivable, perfect, and immortal, ever in bliss, ever in bloom, illimitable, beauteous, and immaculate art thou. countless are those who sing thine praises but they know not even a bit of thy limit he unto whom thou art graceful o lord that person unites with thee blessed blessed and blessed are the persons on whom the lord god has become graceful whosoever have acquired the touch of the divine guru nanak they are made immune from the birth and death true abidingly true and the truest of the true is god said to be he alone is heard to be the primal lord none other by uttering the ambrosial name of the god man attains all the comforts they who taste it with their tongue those persons are sated and satiated he with whom the lord is pleased he loves the congregation of holy whosoever meets with the god incarnate guru nanak he emancipates his entire lineage true is the lord's congregation and the court his true name he has placed with the true guru sitting on the true throne he administers true justice the true lord himself has created the world he is infallible and does not err priceless like the jewel is the name of the infinite lord the worth of the invaluable name cannot be priced on whom soever the world lord becomes merciful he alone receives all the comforts they who touch the feet of the divine guru nanak they are not cast into existences afterwards again by what yoga what knowledge and meditation and by what way can we praise the lord the adepts the strivers and the 33 millions of gods cannot find even a cm of the lord's worth neither brahma nor sanak nor the serpent king know the limit of his merits the unseizable lord cannot be grasped he is fully pervasive in all creation they whose nose of maya the merciful master has cut those persons are attached to his meditation they who meet with the god and guru nanak are ever emancipated here and hereafter i a beggar have sought the shelter of the lord the donor of the donors pray grant me the bounty of the dust of the saints feet attached to which i shall cross the dreadful world ocean if it pleases thee o lord listen to my prayer and supplication my mind's yearning is that thou mayest grant me with thy sight lord so that this mind abides in thine meditation the name's lamp is lighted in the midst of spiritual darkness all the people of the dark age are saved with the aid of one name the guru god slave nanak has become manifest in all the worlds of the lord savaye by the holy tongue of the fifth guru the creator of all is one the only one he is realized by the true guru's grace frail perishable is the body still it is bound to worldly love i am foolish hard hearted filthy and without understanding my mind rushes and wanders and is not held in poise it does not know the state of supreme lord 
I am intoxicated with the wine of youth, beauty and wealth and wander about restlessly in great ego. Another's wealth, another's wranglings, woman and slander, these are sweet and dear to my mind. I make efforts to conceal my faults, but my master, the inner knower, sees and hears all. I have no humility, righteousness, compassion and purity, but I have sought thy shelter, O giver of spiritual life. God, the Lord of wealth, is omnipotent to do everything. In thy grace, O the master of Nanak, now save him. To praise God, the mind charmer, and to seek his shelter, these are necessary to dispel and destroy one's sin. In every way, all-powerful God is the ship for crossing the world ocean and he can emancipate the entire lineage of his devotee. O my thoughtless mind, realizing the Lord in holy congregation, contemplate him caught in darkness of illusion, where dost thou wander? Meditate on God even for a moment, half a moment, an instant, and thrice, and with thy tongue utter the Lord's name, bound with the worthless deeds and momentary players, why wanderest amid pain of millions of births? Nanak says, by the saints' teaching, utter the name with hearty love, meditate on the Lord. By sowing a little sperm in the field of mother's body, the Lord has created the priceless human body. To enable him to enjoy players, the Lord blesses him with the articles of food and drink and mansions and wards of his pain and rids him of calamity. The entire understanding to recognize his mother, father, brothers and relations man has obtained from the Lord. Day by day, the mortal is ever growing and the dreadful old age is drawing close to him.